Okay, so uh, we're gonna kind of start doing something new here on Guitar Gear 1. Uh, in fact, it probably wouldn't be such a bad idea for me to create an all new page, but um, I think because of the nature of what we're about to do, uh, we are gonna kind of still stick to uh, a lot of what the page has always been about. But basically, uh, over the next several weeks and months, we're gonna go into kind of a tangent on recording uh, for a lot of reasons. But basically, um, I think a lot of uh, guys end up having asked themselves at some point, uh, what 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 were I actually doing all this for? Um, you know, I've I've had some moments in my life where uh, I've realized how much gear I've amassed over the years, and it's uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's just stupid. Uh, it, it's way beyond justification. And basically, at some point, um, you might want to do something with all of that. And basically, uh, if you start looking into home recording. Um, certainly for me and a lot of other people I've met, a lot of that is very unfamiliar territory. Uh, I personally really like buying something with a flame maple top or something that makes a lot of noise or whatever, and we start looking at different very expensive microphones, you start looking into different kinds of diaphragms inside of them and, and different rack mounting units and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of more like buying... Uh, a muffler for your car or something that isn't so cool that you're not going to show off to anybody, but uh, they're still very good investments. Um, a lot of guys take a lot of different routes. Uh, some people just get the old kidney bean, you know, the Line 6 Pod. Uh, the new big thing right now is a lot of guys are using Axe Effects stuff, uh, and they're basically just bypassing uh, an analog outboard amp altogether, which is something I've never bought into. Um, a lot of this kind of new, very progressive, low-tune music, uh, that's kind of the thing, especially guys playing eight and seven string guitars, which I do play seven string, but uh, I chose to buy my angle Powerball for a reason. I chose to get a cabinet with uh, vintage 30s in it for a reason. Uh, by uh, miking your cabinets in different kinds of rooms with different levels of uh, acoustics and things like this, you can get very, very different natural sounding effects that I don't think anything uh, has yet been able to uh, model digitally. <coughs> so basically, <coughs> I sort of dug my heels in and said, you know what, uh, even though it's probably narcissistic, I do want my own studio set up. And I thought uh, a lot of other people probably feel the same way. And we all should know how to do that kind of stuff, even though, you know, I think a lot of us focus on songwriting and, and, and particularly, you know, for people on this page, I would imagine guitar playing specifically. But, uh, yeah, I started looking into the world of Pro Tools. It's expensive. It's kind of intimidating. Um, I've been putting this off for years. I mean, years and years and years. I mean, I've, I've, I should have done this forever ago. And essentially, this entire series, and it's going to be a long series since it's going to go on and on and on, uh, this is going to be about showing you guys from literally in the plastic, and I have not opened this stuff yet, and believe me, I've been wanting to. We are going to open these packages together, set up an entire recording studio inside a bedroom. This is a spare bedroom that I have. And then in the coming months, uh, my wife and I are remodeling our basement. We're going to build a much larger, much more professional studio where we're going to actually build separate booths and things. Uh, but <laughs> for now, we're going to talk about actually getting you from being a guy sitting in a room playing guitar to somebody that actually has very presentable, very professional sounding recordings. We're going to show you different ways of utilizing your money uh, to get something you're very happy and proud of. Um, and basically any kind of feedback anyone else has, we'd love to share this stuff with each other. And basically <clears throat> the page is going to be about being the best musician pound for pound that you absolutely can be with your budget and with your knowledge. So. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the page. Uh, again, this, this is something that I hope grows into something really, really cool because at the end of the day, I think a lot of people are kind of uh, hesitant or embarrassed or whatever it is to ask other guys for help. And I think a lot of people that have uh, kind of portrayed themselves as being very approachable really get inundated with just literally thousands of emails from dudes that pretty desperately want to know how they can start getting themselves moving forward. So. Um, Let's all pool our resources, do this together, and, uh, and see what we can build out of it. So if you haven't already, subscribe to Guitar Gear 1, and uh, come back for the series of videos.